Hello? Hello, hello? Well, Gilbert, we haven't seen you back here since, uh, I believe, your fight against Hamza. So how's life been since that fight many people consider one of the best fights of the year so far? Uh, Being hard, <laughs> trying to get a fight. Uh, just fix a lot of the mistakes that I think I did on that fight. Uh, just trying to improve and get better. And then I was trying to get a fight. Uh, I remember I took a little time off. And by September, I was already asking for a fight. They said I would fight in November and then December and then finally in Rio. So it was a good time, you know, to get better, to improve a lot of things. And, uh, but yeah, finally here. But it took a little time off and, and put a lot of work in. Were there any names specifically they were offering you or asking besides? We've all heard the, the Jorge thing, but were there other names they came and approached you with? No, but George was the, 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 the number one. Whenever I, I talk about George, UFC liked the idea and they kind of, they took the idea. They said, oh, we want to do the George fight. I kind of like, are you sure he want it? If you don't, give me another guy. And I, the, the other guy that I, I asked for was Geoff when he when he called me out. That's the one that I wanted, but then he real quick he got a fight schedule with Shavkat. And uh yeah, there was no other name. There was mostly George Miles Vidal. And then after that, whenever multiple occasions the fight was wasn't in the table no more, they they asked for Bilal Mohammed. But I think he just got back from, from Abu Dhabi. And uh and the other name was Neil Magny. So what do you make of Neil as an opponent? He obviously holds a lot of records in this in the division. So what do you make of him as an opponent? He's tough. He's durable, experienced, fought a lot of guys, uh, just broke the record. If I'm not wrong, 20 wins right on the welterweight division. I think a lot of people underestimate him. I think he's tough. I'm going to I'm taking him very seriously. And uh, but yeah, but I'm looking for a finish, you know, especially in Brazil, especially coming out of that fight with Hamza, especially Trying, working hard to get another title shot. I need, I need a finish. You know, that's what I'm looking forward to. Was it important for you to get on the Rio card when they announced it? Whenever, to be honest, my first, my plan was to fight in MSG. Whenever, whenever that passed on, I want to fight this year. You know, because I just had one fight in April. Whenever I see it wasn't happening in December, I say shit. <laughs> Next one, they, because they say they want to put me on pay-per-view. Whenever December was out of the occasion, I say, okay, I'm fighting Rio. I don't care. Then he, he, he kind of happened to be in Rio. Do you believe Jorge when he said he wasn't, he was never offered you? He was lying for sure. Or, or, or Hunter in the UFC were lying. Like I don't believe they were, but they offered me. George, you want to fight George? That was the question. You want to fight George Miles without MSG? You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> I say for sure. And then after that, they say, oh, he's not ready. We can make that in uh, December 10th. I say, yes. And after that, oh, George told us he's going to fight you in Brazil. And I said, no, he didn't say it. Oh, he said that. And I said, okay, shit. And then after a little BR fights out of the table, we're going to fight another guy who fight in New Brazil and couple guys declining, so it, Neil Magny it is. Can we be surprised how hard it's been to get the Jorge fight? You know, this is a guy who says he wants to fight everyone, and then you've been calling him out, and then he says he'd rather do it in London. Are you surprised? I was, because he, he, he said my name multiple times in a couple occasions, different interviews, and then he said he was going to do one more fight this year. And then I was kind of, okay, it's happening, but then... Shit, it takes so much. It took so so long, and he was the way I see. He was kind of cooking me, going, "Oh yeah, no later. Oh next pay per view. Oh next fight. Oh next month." And then I was kind of waiting for the fight, but I guess it's a very hard fight for him. You know, he's coming from three losses. To fight me is a little is risk. Is a good reward if he beats me. If yeah. it's gonna be a good reward, but it's a big risk, uh, I think. Is there any chance you could win in Brazil and then turn around and fight him in London, like he's saying, or is that going to be too soon? For sure, I'll be. I'm not going to be chasing George, but I'm going to chase another fight real quick, you know. So, not passing over Neil Magny, I cannot make that mistake again. I cannot pass to a guy. I gotta freaking destroy this guy in Rio and looking for another fight. That that's the goal to get three finishes, three wins, 
and earn another title shot. That's my goal, you know. And I want to be a busy 2023 because oh shit, won only one fight in 2022. So I'm looking for a busy year. Hey Gilbert, right here. Uh, obviously, that fight with Hamza was very big. There were a lot of good fights this year. Uh, the award did go to Glover Tashira and Giri, but when I asked Glover, he said one of his favorite fights was you versus Hamza. What's it like to have that kind of respect from your countrymen and another fighter who was in another big battle this year? Yeah, it, it, shit, it, it's good. That was a good fight, but sure, it's still lost. You know, it's, I like, it's cool. You know, for sure, I love Glover, I respect Glover, I love his fight too, he was, that was a crazy fight, I think he deserved, but, yeah, it was cool, but I lost, you know, shit, <laughs> it was cool, but still losing the fight, so I'm not too proud, it was a great fight, yes, but I lost. Understood. Uh, there is maybe some talk, you know, some people uh, not sure if they'll be able to get a deal done for Hamza versus Colby. If so, you know, do you feel like someone else might get that fight against Hamzad, and who do you think it would be? Yeah, I think that fight's not happening. I think, I don't know, I think it will be on me or, or, or Bilal, I think it will be one of us. I don't think, I don't think Kobe's fight, it don't look like it, you know, that thing with George is going to a different direction. I just, I just think, uh, that fight Hamza and Kobe is not happening, so that's why I want to get a, uh, I want to beat Neil Magny in Brazil, and uh, we'll see, we'll see what, what's next. Is that part of a big motivation, knowing, hey, right now there is a new champion, there is a shakeup in the division with Leon Edwards at the top, and you might have a quicker road back to the belt right now? Maybe, you know, I don't, it's not a motivation for me, because I don't know if that's true, I don't know. I just believe I gotta do my job right now. I gotta beat the shit on New Magnum in Brazil. I gotta get another fight. I gotta beat the shit on this next guy. If they, if it comes out or, or Kobe is not available, I'll beat another guy and I'm gonna earn the title shot. That's my goal. Three, three great finishes to get another title shot. Doesn't matter who, you know. Thank you. Yeah. So just wanna get a prediction from you for Usman and. Leon Edwards. Ooh, that, that's a 50-50 fight. I think, to be honest, I, I, I look at that fight for an angle that I don't think a lot of people saw it. That fight was in Salt Lake City with the altitude. Kamara trains in Devon on the altitude. Leon is not an altitude where, where Leon trains in London. And Leon did very good in the first round. I was impressive with the takedown, mount, taking the back. But I think he faded a little bit second, third round. Now going to the second fight, there's no altitude in London. That's freaking Leon's house, you know? Shit. I think, I think it's a 50 50 fight. I think it's going to be super, super close. If I got to give the advantage, it's going to be a little bit from Leon because there's no altitude on this time. Great camp at home. He even said that he didn't feel good and he did what he did, the way he did. I, give, I think it's going to be a 50 50, maybe a little bit more. To Leon Edwards, I think he's in a good momentum right now. He's young, he's hungry. Shit, yeah, I'm gonna keep my eyes on this fight. And Gilbert, just a quick one for me. Thanks for taking time. Sure. You know, when you fight for the title, you're winning. People recognize you. They notice you. But sometimes, off of losses, people get that just just as much notoriety. How more popular were you off of that comes out fight and people giving you props that it was a war and it just you just were a household name even further. Yeah, I think after that fight, the popularity got a little up. I'm not going to lie, it did, you know. But Hamza said that it was because of him. But I think it was because that freaking right hand right here, my heart, my cojones, and everything that I put on that fight. I don't think it was because of him, but I think it was because of me taking the fight that I shouldn't take, the risk that I shouldn't take, I did. And I put everything on the line, and he thought it was going to be an easy night. It was a freaking hard night, you know. And then I think that's why people recognize after that fight. Like, I, sh I didn't have to take the fight. I took anyways, and, and, and I, I put everything on that fight. Thank you, sir, and good luck in Brazil. Thank you. Thank you, guys.